What's up guys? So today I'm talking about the new flash sale from uh, Olight. Uh, it is starting today at 8 p.m. tonight and is continuing until tomorrow, almost at midnight, 11.59, I think it officially ends, but let's just call it midnight. Um, I believe if you're part of their you know, top tier program, I forget what it is, uh, which I am not, obviously, but uh, you know, if you're one of their special uh, you know, fans and stuff and you're part of their system, you can get this stuff early, but just for the average people, that's the, uh, the span, I believe, is from tonight, 8 p.m., until tomorrow at midnight. So, a couple things to uh, look at here. They had sent me this, um, o bulb, which is a new generation, which I'm going to talk about in a moment here. But I have some old stuff here, which I really like, uh, and just kind of representing what they're going to be selling. I have to say the uh, the coolest thing of all, which I'm not going to be able to get, unfortunately, I just don't have the funds at the moment. But they have the i5T EOS, and they're going to be offering it in Damascus, which is beautiful. So all the guys out there who have their custom, you know, knives, and you have your Damascus pocket clips and all that kind of stuff, if you're into it. Uh, that's the light to get to throw into that little EDC rotation. It is super, super cool. Normally, they're, they're saying $199 for it, but they're selling it for $160. Um, it is just one of my favorite flashlights. The i5T EOS uh, is the single AA uh, light. This is my uh, my personal one that I like to use. I have a couple of their, their um, you know variants on it, different colors and stuff. I also have their UV one, but uh, super, super useful. I just love the single AA. It's a great size. I keep these in my organizers as well as the i3T EOS. These are the most uh, recommended uh, by me for uh, you know small lights. I really, really like these. So if I personally had money to, uh, to spend on this uh, flash sale, it would definitely be the Damascus i5T EOS. But they do have some other cool stuff. If you are a uh, Star Wars fan, they have a bunch of white and black variants on uh, some existing lights that is really, really cool looking. So the, the white black theme, definitely a Stormtrooper-ish uh, to me anyway. I know uh, they're pretty popular you know, with some of the uh, autos and stuff, the Stormtrooper stuff. Um, but they, it just looked really, really good in white. Now, clearly, that's more of a collectible thing. If you're using and banging around a white flashlight, it's going to get dirty and look pretty nasty. Um, unless that's the look you're going for, I suppose. But, yeah, they have a bunch of different models that are going to be in white. Speaking of white, I believe they're also going to do the Baton 3 with the wireless charger uh, in a white setup, which is really, really cool. I really like that. Uh, this is my wife's. This is also one of their uh, limited edition versions of it. The Baton 3 is actually really cool. It's just another upgrade from the Baton 2. I actually have the Baton 1, the original. That's the one that I actually EDC. I got that from Going Gear many, many years ago when they first came out. A uh, little lackluster in its performance compared to the 2 and now, of course, the 3. Um, but my wife carried the 2 in orange for a very, very long time, and now she's upgraded to the uh, the 3, but not the, the newer white version, uh, this version here. What's kind of cool, if you haven't seen this before, is they do have this uh, wireless pack. The idea is when this is, you know, out of a charge, uh, you could just put it in the pack. Instead of actually plugging it in, you would charge this pack, all right? And then it would charge your light wirelessly, all right? So you can keep that in your pocket or a bag or something. Kind of cool, but they're going to have the uh, all-white version of that, which is really neat. Now, uh, speaking of the wife, she has really loved these old bulbs. When I first got an old bulb, I thought, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, but you know, it's, it's like a push light. You know what I mean? Like there's so many cheap dollar store push lights that have been around forever. You throw it in a closet, you know, stick it on the wall, push it, but you have to change the batteries. These are actually a really good version of that. These are becoming super popular and they came out with their new version, which is multicolor, which I'll show you in a second. But I want to compare it to the uh, old one here. This is my wife's. Um, I actually use one, mine's in my closet right now. I don't have a light in my closet. It's a regular, traditional, small, you know, clothes closet. <laughs> and uh, it's always dark in there. And I've gone through a variety of different lighting options. I had a, a tube light that I put on like a, a string, well, actually my wife did, and hooked it up like way up top. So when I opened the door, I reach up and I had to, you know, play with that a little bit. And that, it was okay for a while. I had that for probably a year. Uh, but I've gone through a lot of different lighting options and the, uh, the old bulbs are the best. It really is the best because I have this on the magnetic piece uh, above the door. So when I open the door, I reach up, I literally just push on it, all right, push on the part. Lights up the whole closet, but I can just grab it if I have to go underneath, because like, you know, all the clothes are draping and then I have a couple, um, you know, little segments I put like socks and undies and stuff in. Yes, that's right, I have underwear, just like you. Um, <laughs> although I guess maybe some of you don't. But anyway, uh, if I have to see like down on the bottom, because I have stuff stored on the bottom, uh, I just pull it off the wall real quick and then just literally hold this down there so I can see. It's just a really good option. Um, this is my wife's one with the uh, the green base, but I have, I think, the purple one that she originally had. Just swap that 
because uh, she likes the green a little bit more than the purple. And that one is up in my closet. So long story short, they are actually really, really useful. So um, we have this holder, which is kind of cool because this can be put on either way. You can put this with the, the light facing down or the light facing up. Like let's say if you have this in a tent or something, you might want the light up so it's not right in your face. It's actually gonna you know, spread out over the uh, top of the tent. Um, but these are a really interesting concept for the old bulb. If I can get this to work its way around. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So once you get this thing on, it's kind of cool because you could loop this around anything. So let's say if I want to attach it, um, you know, to the chair. Like I'm sitting in the chair and I have a wood piece on the back. I want to hang from the back of the chair. I loop this around, loop it through itself. You know what I mean? And this will, will hold, all right, onto absolutely anything. All right, so it's just a different option. Obviously, you know, it just kind of hangs there. You turn it on. If you have this uh, facing the other way, it obviously diffuses it, even though it's already diffused. All right, but if you wanted to have direct lighting downward, you could just hang it pretty much anywhere you want, anywhere there's actually a, a space or a hole to go through. And obviously, if you put it the other direction, um, you would be able to have it go straight up and diffuse out, like I mentioned, if you had a, a tent or something, so you didn't have direct light in your face. So it's kind of a cool option. I just like that. Now I finally got a hold of one of the O-Links, which is really cool. It's just magnetic, all right, so you can hang this anywhere. So between this, all right, and you don't have to use their, their carabiner, although it's kind of cool, their round ones. It's actually really good quality, but you can, you can do anything with this. You can put a string through it. You can use your own carabiner. Uh, split rings, whatever you want. So between this and this, the O-Link and this piece, which I'm not actually sure what they even call that. Um, and of course the original metal plate that comes with this where you could stick somewhere. Uh, you have a ton of options. You could put this literally anywhere. All right. So pretty cool to have uh, the different uh, mounting options, I guess you would call those. Now, of course, this is magnetic by itself. So anything metal, it would be able to stick to as well. So that is pretty much it for that. I want to check out the new O bulb. All right, so here it is the O bulb MC standing for multicolor. They do have a couple different color bases. All right, this one's the white, it has a gold ring. So you have a little uh, origami on top here. <laughs> nice little presentation, little flower that it is. All right, so this one is actually a different shape. Usually these are round coin like shapes. So this is your metal plate, has the, the uh, sticker on the back, the 3M sticker. So you can, like, let's say you have a, a spot you wanted to uh, permanently mount this so that when you're charging it, you know, it's just magnetized to that. Uh, that's where you'd have this. But the idea is that, okay, well, now you put that somewhere. Where else are you going to mount this? That's why they have the O link and, you know, the different mounting options. But anyway, that's the one that comes with it, which is a little bit different. All right, of course, your charging cable. Uh, <laughs> eyeballs. I noticed this when I opened this. Um, so if you're, I don't know, a real fun person and you want to characterize your O bulb, I suppose, the official O light eyeballs. All right, so there's actual eyelashes on here. Let me zoom in, show you this. All right, so <laughs> there's googly eyes essentially. So you could stick this to your O bulb. I don't know why they have these. I have to imagine, all right, that uh, this would be for your kids. You know what I'm saying? If you're getting these flashlights, because it's pretty cool. Like if you're into guns and knives and you have real little kids, they probably don't have guns and knives yet. I'm sure you're hoping they get older or can't wait till they get older so they can get into that kind of stuff. But in the meantime, kids can play with flashlights as long as it's not too bright and they don't shine right directly in their eyeball. Uh, they can have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? So this is kind of cool. So if you're getting these things for your kids, or if you want to use it for your kids or whatever, it's kind of fun to make it a little character. All right, totally random, but I can certainly appreciate that for the kids out there or maybe the adults that just like that kind of stuff. Uh, I, however, am not going to use the eyeballs. All right, maybe I'll stick them on something else or keep it with the arts and crafts bin, <laughs> but uh, I don't have any interest in that. All right, so I wanted to compare the O-Bulb MC to the original O-Bulb that my wife uses here. Uh, the original one, when you push it one time, all right, just goes to red. So it would be red or it's off, right? You have to push and hold to actually access that first mode, which is the low, you know, regular light mode. Push and hold to switch between your different different things, right? So we have the red, we have the low and the high, and then we have this strobe, okay, which is also red. So let's start with the this one. With the MC, you just push it once to turn it on, right? So let me cycle through. Let's go back to that low mode. 
So, you can see that the MC is a little brighter on low. I don't know if you could tell. I push and hold and go to high on here, and then push once to go to high on here, which I do like the UI in this. It's just easier to just be able to tap it each time. Um, I do think that these are very close to each other. If I really scrutinize it, the MC might be just a little bit brighter, but it could be just because this is on full charge right now, and this one might be slightly depleted. So pushing and holding, you see the next mode is red, and so is this, all right? Also might be hard to tell, but the red on the original is definitely, I wouldn't say more bright, it's just more of a true red. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can really pick that up, but this is like just a very pure red where this is like a little bit, I don't know, muddled, a little bit darker, I suppose. It's hard to explain really, but I do like the red on the old one more. Then the next mode is different here. We just have a straight green compared to the strobe red, okay? Now that's where that ends. There's no more modes on that. But we continue with the MC. We also have a solid blue. Then we have uh, RGB, I think is what this mode is called. All right, when this is this fades in between colors. All right, so let me use my hand here so you can actually see the color. So we have purple that goes to kind of red, pink, you know, orange, green. So it's just fading through the colors, light blue, dark blue, and so forth, right? Kind of cool, you know, leave this on at the end of a, a, a table or something like that, having a party, or just kind of hanging out lighting some incense, having some alone time, <laughs> whatever you're doing and you want to have some cool lighting. Then the next mode is the same thing, only it, it doesn't fade in between the colors, it literally just changes. So I believe it's called RGB. I've seen this in multiple different things before, you know, back when the LED um, bulbs first came out for like lamps and stuff, they had a lot of cheap one that did this, you know. So once in a while, <laughs> put on some music, get the colors going, have a fun time, you know what I mean? But anyway, that is, uh, that's some of the options. And then the next one, of course, is back to that red uh, strobe. And then we're off, all right? So those are the modes. Low, high, solid red, solid green, solid blue, all right? The fading color changing, then the straight color changing, and then the red strobe, all right? So pretty cool, definitely more options than the original. The only advantage on the original, because I do like how this works, just pushing the button each time is really simple to shut it off, it's a long hold, really simple. This one's harder to use in my opinion. Uh, however, the red is just more brilliant, just straight red. I don't know why, I have no idea why. But anyway, that is that. That is some information on the new sale. Um, again, totally jealous for all the people who end up picking up a Tamascus uh, i5T EOS. Let me know down in the comment section if you actually get one. In the future, I would be possibly open to trades because it is a really cool one that I personally want for my collection, but it's, uh, it's expensive. I mean, it's expensive for the light. You know, it really is geared towards the collectors, the guys out there and the girls who have these, you know, specific EDCs. You know, if you have a lot of Tamascus built into your EDC, uh, it, it's a must have, obviously. Um, but it is very, very expensive compared to all the other versions you can get. Even this titanium one I thought was kind of expensive compared to the simple old, you know, black aluminum version. Uh, but, you know, having a little variety is always cool. And, you know, that's where the collector kind of stands out in me is wanting another one for the collection. But it is really cool. Uh, I do love Damascus. Anyway, I'm blabbing on. You guys get the point. Another sale. If you're interested, it's a good time to save money. If you're a collector, it's a great time to pick up on something that's cool that you probably won't ever see again. Because that's how this stuff works, right? It comes, it goes, they move on to something else. So if you miss out, you miss out. But anyway, that is it for now. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.